During Hillary's Benghazi testimony, Rand Paul actually told her if he was president, he would have relieved her of her post. Thank you for appearing, Secretary Clinton, and I'm glad to see your health is improving. I'm glad that you're accepting responsibility. I think that ultimately with your leaving, you accept the culpability for the worst tragedy since 9-11, and I really mean that. Had I been president at the time, and I found that you did not read the cables from Benghazi, you did not read the cables from Ambassador Stevens, I would have relieved you of your post. I think it's inexcusable. And it is inexcusable. And what Rand is specifically talking about is unclassified cables between the Benghazi Post and the Obama administration that were going on for well over a year. And a maximum alert was actually sent by Ambassador Stevens on September 4th, just a week before the attack to Secretary of State Hillary Clinton saying that there was a threat of an imminent attack. She didn't read it, and then he died. And it doesn't matter that she got sick and had a concussion later, and now she's having all these histrionics. Whatever, he's still dead, and it's still partially her fault because she didn't even read these threats that were sent, these warnings that were sent directly to her. She couldn't even be bothered to read that, and people had to die because of it. And apparently in response to that, MSNBC attacked InfoWars, accusing Rand Paul of getting his, quote, absurd information from us. Let's take a look at that. Joining me tonight, Joy Reid, managing editor of thegrio.com and former Admiral Joe Sestak and former congressman from Pennsylvania uh, in the United States Navy for 30 years, also worked in naval intelligence. The most ridiculous, almost comical line that was used at the hearings today was Rand Paul saying, had I been president, give me a break. Is he getting his information from InfoWars? Breitbart, that's their sources of news and intelligence, and that's what they're using to question our Secretary of State. It's absurd. Maybe he is getting his information from InfoWars. A lot of people do, because most people, if they wanted to hear what the White House wanted them to hear, they'd go directly to the source, just the way that MSNBC goes directly to the White House for their agenda. And actually, to further prove that point, we have the Alexa ratings for both InfoWars.com and MSNBC.com. Let's take a look at these. As you can see, they're at 729 in the U.S. Oh, we're at 393. Yeah. So apparently they are coming directly to us to get their news and not to you. I'm pretty sure there's a reason for that. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.